be making bases. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, turn the notifications on so you know when we're going to post. Today's video, I'm going to be covering two tips when it comes to mastering your beats in Logic Pro 10. Okay? So check this out. I got this beat. It's pretty banging. Um, what you're going to notice when I go ahead and play it is it clips pretty significantly. Okay? I already got all the levels where I want it, but like when I look at the stereo out, it clips. That's a problem. So I'm just going to play a little kind of sample of the beat and then we're going to go from there. All right. So like I said, as you can see, it's coming in pretty strong here. Now, we're not going to, with this tip, eliminate what's coming in, but we're going to definitely help fix it and make it not hit so hard where it's, you know, distorted and everything like that. So the tip, first tip is just to take this uh, stereo out and just turn it down to like negative 4.6. And what that's going to do is create some headroom. Okay. You're going to still see it peaking, but it's not going to be as bad as it was. Let's check it out. Okay, so that's going to drastically change the uh, the headroom here. What they're going to do next is go ahead and bounce this down as a wave file. And uh, so what we'll do is push Command B. And what you want to do is just go 24 bit and then up the sample rate to 48. Normalize off. You just come in here. bounce that down all right so after this finish is bouncing down the next thing you're going to want to do is drag this wave file into a brand new project so we'll just go ahead and click off of that we'll save it new project and we're just going to bring in that audio file we just created so i'll just go over here to my finder Usually I put my audio files right here on the desktop. As you can see, I already kind of did some things, but I'm just going to take this right here, drag it in like this and go ahead and change the uh, sample rate to your actual project and go ahead and import your um, BPM. All right, cool. So the next trick here is after you import your audio, what you're gonna do is just come over here to the stereo out, and we're gonna use a plugin called uh, Isotopes Ozone 9. And what that's gonna do is a mastering plugin. What we're gonna to want to do is come over here to the maximizer, turn True Peak on, and just take the ceiling down to like, yeah, negative 0.1. You're also gonna come over here to the mode and go to IRC4. And transient leave that threshold down because what that's gonna do is kind of boost the signal back up a little bit and if it's coming in too hard you could always take some lows out right here boost stuff right here but let's just take a listen to it as you can hear it sounds pretty loud, sounds professional. Um, and then you, as you're looking at this meter right here, it's not clipping at all. Again, the only other thing I would maybe recommend doing is come over here and go over here like this, low shelf it, and you can just pull that down. Like say if you, you feel like it's coming in too hard as far as the 808s or the, the low end, you can kind of play around with this. You can also come over here, play around with some of the high end like this. Let me come over here. Let's check it out now. All right, 
So now you can see the beat is pretty much done. It sounds good. The levels are right. And it has a professional, you know, uh, polish on it. So now all we would do is bounce this back down. And I would do this as an MP3. You could do it as a WAV file. You could do it as both. Um, since you're going to be selling this track, I would recommend bouncing it down as a wave as 24 bit and 48 um, for the sample rate. The reason why is this because that's going to maintain the quality and everything like that. And then you have a, a track for streaming as well. So just push OK and then we'll save it onto the desktop or whatever. We rename it and then save it onto the desktop. OK. Now, I already have already, you know, bounced it down and everything, so I'm not going to do that twice, but that's pretty much all those, all you would do. Those are the two tips I have for you. Turn that track down to negative, the, the stereo out down to negative 4 dB, and then once you do that, bounce it down, bring it back into Logic in a new session, and then put a mastering plugin in on here. Now, if you don't have Ozone 9, I'm going to show you what you can do as an alternative. You can just pretty much go down here to Dynamics and go to Adaptive Limiter. And it's the same type of deal here. You can just turn the gain down and this ceiling out. You just turn that down negative uh, 0 0.1 dB. Turn that on. And then the same thing with the gain, right? You remember how we had on this ozone, um, it was like a threshold was at negative 2.0 dB. Well, what you could do is just turn this up to like that and it does the same thing. So let's check it out now. Okay, so this is for y'all. If you don't have Ozone 9 or don't want to you know, pay the money to get it, you can just do it like that as well. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.